For many hardware startups, it's difficult taking their great ideas and turning them into a reality. That's where Bolt comes in. They're a seed stage startup here in downtown Boston that provides engineering expertise, fabrication equipment, and venture capital funding. We go inside the operation on breakout startups. Bolt is a seed stage fund focused entirely on hardware companies. And when we make an investment in a company, it comes with a bunch of additional support that's kind of unique to the way hardware companies operate. So we, you know, we make an investment, so there's money included, which is really useful. Um, we also provide this awesome facility, which uh, has about, about a million dollars of prototyping equipment and sort of general office space that the companies can use totally as part of the deal. Um, we have a full-time uh, staff of engineers and designers that are on our payroll, paid full-time to be here and focus only on the companies. And these are guys that have shipped millions of units of product and know how to do that stuff really well. So Ben, we're going down into sort of the machine shop fabrication area. What's this first station over here? This machine uh, is called a vacuum former. It's what we call an engine lathe. This is one of my favorite uh, tools, which is a laser cutter. You seem like you're an expert on all these machines. <laughs> how, how, how did you get all this knowledge? What did it, where, what's the background? In order, so I mean, I'm a product designer. So in order to design stuff well, you have to really know how things are going to be made. Uh, and so as I've gone through you know, project after project after project after project, you learn how things should be prototyped and how they should be manufactured. And so I'm really not an expert in anything. I just know enough about each thing to design things for that technology. For a hardware startup, you, all of this all of these tools are essential to them. That's right, yeah, and, and, and it's, it, it's interesting, like the, most of our companies are actually, they're really software companies, they just happen to sell a piece of hardware. Uh, a lot of their IP, a lot of the intelligence, a lot of their time is spent on building a piece of software, but without that piece of hardware, their business is useless. It's something that the hardware startups probably couldn't amass all of this on their own. It's just not worth it. Um, and the amount of energy and time and money it takes to build a facility like this when you're three guys in a basement doesn't make sense. What is the process for you and how do you identify what startups you want? Sure, that's, that's like the really hard part of this business. It's all about finding companies uh, that we really believe can become big, right? So we're taking little pieces of ownership of all these companies and just like any VC firm, we hope that you know, a couple of those companies will wind up returning a significant portion of that capital and then some, right? We have investors too that we need to pay back. What's next for Bolt? What's coming up? There's a lot of things. I mean, we're really focused on the companies that are here. We have more than enough to keep us busy trying to get another 10 companies to, to invest in the hardware space. And helping them be successful is really the point. When a typical VC firm is operating, they spend a lot of time on the investment piece. And then they, they help here and there with board meetings and other things. But we're really like on the ground with the companies on a day-to-day -day basis doing you know, product design reviews and, and, and helping them think through manufacturing and part design and cost and supply chain. Um, and so that actually takes a lot of time and energy. So we're really focused on making the companies that we invest in successful. With the steady flow of applicants, Bolt is selective, but for good reason. Choosing the right startup just might mean finding the next $100 million idea. We'll see you next time on Breakout Startups.